Okay, y'all. So my question before I get into this video is, can you tell if I have on high-end makeup or drugstore makeup? Like, just look. Can you tell? Because I don't think you can tell. So we about to hop right into this video. Um, yeah. Just know you can't tell. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Lex up next, and I'm back with another video. If you're a returning subscriber, what's popping? And if you new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. In today's video, I um am coming to y'all with a recommendation video. Somebody rec recommended me to do this video, and I needed some content, and so that's what I'm that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to do the <clears throat> video that they wanted me to do. Um, so this video, I'm basically gonna tell y'all five different dupes for high-end makeup products so as y'all know or if you don't know if you're new here i am a makeup artist a professional makeup artist and i um i've been working with a lot of different brands over the years so i really know like i actually know and i worked with different skin types and different you know different people so um I kind of got a background in this kind of information so do what you will with that information but just know I know um so basically I'm gonna tell y'all the high-end product and then I'm gonna tell y'all the dupe for that high-end product I'm gonna show y'all five dupes it is from different brands I'm gonna tell y'all where y'all can get the same effect and quality um of the product for a way cheaper price so that's what a dupe is if you didn't know it's basically a product that you can get for cheaper and get the same effect or quality of the high-end product okay so i'm not gonna make this video long we about to hop right into this video and yeah make sure y'all follow me on my instagram Make sure y'all like this video and make sure y'all subscribe to my YouTube channel. Y'all see I tried to do my little makeup or whatever and come on here and do this video. When I do sit down videos, I think I'm going to do my makeup. But if I'm vlogging, y'all know it is what it is. Okay, so let's just hop right into this video. So first, I'm going to start with one of the most expensive um, products that I use. Yeah, one of the most expensive products that I use. And um, it is foundation. So... I'm going to let y'all know if I use the dupe for it or if I use the actual high-end product um, at this moment. So, we're going to start off with foundation. For foundation, we're going to start with MAC. We're going to start with MAC. So, everybody knows about MAC. MAC Studio Finish Foundation Studio, Fi oh, Studio Fix Fluid with SPF 15. This this foundation is really good. Like it's really good and it's worth the money that you do spend on it. I can say that. So this foundation runs about $36 to $40, depending on where you get it from. I usually get mine from the Mac store. I don't even know if you can get it from, from anywhere else. But like you might can get it offline. But I usually actually physically go into the Mac store and then I purchase it. So this uh liquid foundation is like a sheer foundation not too heavy not full coverage but it's buildable so you can build it up to um full coverage the dupe that i would consider with this foundation is the boom the fit me foundation so this one you can get from mac this one y'all know y'all can get it from walmart or walgreens or like any store like that like a um drugstore or whatever this is like a drugstore foundation and it is a dupe for mac now the only thing i know noticed that was differently between these these two brands really is the color range like the uh fit me has a lot of different color ranges but mac has more of the reddish under oranges undertones and that's probably why i reach for the mac before i reach for this one anymore i used to use this one a lot on all of my clients like really like this was my go-to before i even switched to mac and started using his high-end product because you got to make your way there like you can't just hop off the porch and you're not really having clientele coming in or anything like that and you just go in for the um the high-end products i always tell people it's not about the product like it is to an extent but it's also about your work like 
it's also about um like your skill like because i can make this foundation look just as good as a face with this foundation even but they are dupes they're very close like the texture all of that the set all of that but um you gotta know what you're doing too so i can make probably a um uh i could make a dollar store foundation and makeup come out immaculate so it just depends on your skill too but these are dupes this one runs about i got my notes right here y'all so i can know six dollars to seven dollars and like i said you can get it from a drugstore any place like that that is a dupe for this one and if i had to uh oh and the one that i use now on my clients is the mac i definitely use the mac one but this one i'm telling y'all is just as good so if you ain't trying to break the bank so I think I'm going to go from most expensive to least expensive. So next we have Laura Mercier. Laura Mercier setting powder. Everybody knows about the Laura Mercier and the color Translucent. Um, They also have Translucent Honey. I kind of like that one too. Um, so, the Laura Mercier setting powder, maybe I should open it. I barely got anything in there. I gotta get another one, but y'all see it. So, the Laura Mercier setting powder, it runs about $40. It's very expensive, especially if you're using it on clients. You're gonna have to get one every few weeks. Like, this runs out quickly. So the Laura Mercier powder is what you use to set your makeup with. Um, you know, just set under your eyes. Set, wherever you set your makeup, this is what you use. It's really good. It really holds, um, no creasing. If you set it right, all of that is a really good powder. And I haven't came across nothing better that topped it yet. I used to use... I forgot the name of the brand. Before. Benai. I did use Benai at one point, And I can say it's kind of like a dupe. But Benai is kind of still a little higher on the higher end. So Laura Mercier powder. Bomb. Nice. Good finish. All of that. Okay. So the dupe for the Laura Mercier would be black opal so if you're looking for a cheaper alternative to the laura mercier i would say go with black opal because when i used it it really did the job like it wasn't cakey no flashback all of that if you know how to set makeup if you set it the right way black opal can be a dupe now the only difference between these two because you know a dupe is not exact unless you really find something that's exact exact but okay so the black opal it is a little darker tone powder but it is the neutral light i always went for the neutral light and i don't know if it's because i had this powder for so long it might have gotten a little darker than what it used to be i don't know because i don't use the black opal i actually use the laura mercier now so this is the color of it and if you are a lighter skin tone I don't know. I think they do have a translucent one, actually. I believe they have a translucent colored one. But this one, of course, I reached for this one because I am melanated. So, the black opal one runs you about... The black opal one runs you about $10. So, you can pick this up at, a, at your local... Um, drugstore you can pick this up at the drugstore the black opal and like i said i usually reach for the neutral light the set is basically the same um just a little darker tone so if you want to save your money go get you some black opal setting powder i don't even like i don't think a lot of makeup artists reach for the black opal like that or they don't think to reach for it i mean i guess depending on if they're using high-end or low-end brands but when I used it, it worked wonders for me. So, boom. Next product. Okay, so the next product is concealer. And 
and the concealer that is high end is now this is not the the exact one but it's the same brand so the Tarte Shape Tape I'm pretty sure you heard of it but the Tarte Shape Tape it's, it comes in a bigger bottle this is the same brand though this is the Tarte Creaseless Concealer but um yeah and this one is a little it's like thicker than the uh, shape shape tape but the shape tape is really good um it covers blemishes blendable it's all of that so the tarte shape tape usually runs about thirty dollars but it's worth it's worth the money it is worth the money it is definitely worth it the sharp the the tarte shape tape so if you're looking for a dupe for the tarte shape tape you can try Juvia's Place or Juvia's Palace. Juvia's Palace. I think it's Juvia's Palace. I'll be saying Juvia's Place. Okay. Oh, it is Juvia's Place. I just looked at the other. <laughs> so it is Juvia's Place. I was right. So um, a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape is Juvia's Place. This is kind of like the size of the actual Tarte Shape Tape bottle. Like I said, this is not the exact one, but it's the same brand. So, yeah. This one right here, it run you about $15. So, it run you about $15. It's half the price of the Tarte Shape Tape. And the quality is immaculate. It's good. It's really good. I love Juvia's Place. Like, I really love it. And I haven't changed up for some years now i tried the tart shape tape but back then i just didn't it was like my clientele where it wasn't where it was today and i just couldn't get with the paying the 30 dollars for the um tart shape tape so i started using the Juvia's place and ever since then it's just like this this concealer works so good there's no reason to go high end if you're using it you're if you're using it the right way and doing you know, doing right by it, it should do right by you. So, that's the dupe. Boom. Y'all need to try it. If y'all never tried Juvia's Place Concealer, I'm telling y'all right now. Go try it. Save some money. A lot of y'all be thinking, oh, I gotta spend a lot of money so my makeup can come up. No, you gotta practice a little more, baby. It's not the makeup. Okay. Oh, one other thing I'm gonna say I'm gonna, I'm gonna just mention this concealer because it is even cheaper than the um Juvia's place and the you everybody know about the LA girl concealer uh, you can get it from the beauty supply store it run about what four dollars I don't reach for this one at all anymore um only because like I said this one works wonders this is like a dupe for the um a juvia's place if you're really trying to save your bucks you may have to um layer it a little bit because it's not as thick as juvia's place but it get the job done and like i said it's four dollars they got a wide color wide variety of colors so you can pick and choose the color and you know this is a good starter um concealer and quality wise it's good it's good it's really good so the la girl concealer that's that is a dupe so i'm gonna go ahead and hop into the next i only got two more left so the next one is going to be um eyebrow pencils so right now i don't have the high-end eyebrow pencil with me because um i stopped using it because when i found the dupe it was like i'm not finna pay that much for an eyebrow pencil i'm going to get the dupe because what's the point if it's the exact same this is a dupe that is exactly the same if not a, a little bit better yeah so okay so the high-end product is the benefit precise eyebrow pencil and that runs you about $25. $25 for an eyebrow pencil. And if you do makeup on other people, that runs out really quickly. Like, it runs out almost as quickly as the um, setting powder. So, the um, dupe for the Benefit Precise um, 
a matter of fact, I'm gonna put a picture, right? I'm gonna put a picture of the product that I don't have. I'm gonna put it right here. The one that I'm exactly talking about. That's the one. And that's the one I used to use before I found the dupe. Like I was actually paying the $25 every time I needed a new eyebrow pencil. And that was, that was, yeah, that was wild. That was really wild. Cause once I found the dupe that works the exact same way, I said, why would I pay $25 when I can pay $10 for the NYX, um, well, how do they say it? The NYX, the micro brow pencil. Oh, this is what it looks like. I don't know if it's going to actually focus. Okay, there we go. Yeah. It's the NYX. It's probably upside down. But it's the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. And this pencil is really good. It's the exact same. It's the exact same as the um, Benefit Precise Pencil color all of that i feel like it's an exact dupe but it may be a little bit better i say that because when you're writing with both pencils it's kind of hard but this one is a slight a tad bit easier than the benefit um i don't know why they make it so hard where it's like it barely shows up but it's kind of good and kind of bad because it's like um it's easy to do some natural brows with it rather than a harsh line but then sometimes you actually have to keep trying to build up um that line and that's for both of them really but this one is a tad bit easier to use and write with so um yeah the nyx professional makeup micro brow pencil this what i said this one's about ten dollars and the benefit is 25 dollars like boom right there should tell you like this dupe this was the one. This was the real dupe, like exact dupe. And I said, I got to get it and I'm going to stick with it. And that's what I've been doing. i only been using this pencil, the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. And last but not least, setting spray. We're going to start with the more, the more popular one, the uh, high-end setting spray. The high-end setting spray that a lot of people reach for is the MAC... Um, what is it called? Mac finish? Mac skin? I don't know what it's called. But it's the Mac setting spray. And the Mac setting spray usually run about $30. It works really good. But who about to spend $30 when I use setting spray throughout? Like, I don't just use it just at the end. I need setting spray throughout the uh, doing the makeup. So, again, it's another product that runs out really fast. And it, you would be better off just um spending less money if you can find a good one so the dupe that i have is not even i have but a dupe for the mac is the morph uh setting spray the continuous setting spray which runs about mm, 16 dollars. you can get it from like ulta or online but and online you're gonna have to pay a shipping price but it's still not 30 dollars okay so the Morph is really good. Good setting spray. They have two different kinds. I think they have like a matte and then they have the, uh, I don't know if it's the Dewey or the original. All right. So yeah, the Morph is definitely a dupe for the matte setting spray. I don't have neither one. So I'm going to put both on the screen. Boom and boom. Y'all probably seen it before. I know y'all seen it before. If y'all watch makeup videos or y'all into makeup, I know y'all seen those two um, products. So the Morph is a dupe for the MAC and a dupe for both of those setting sprays would be my setting spray i don't even have a bottle of my setting spray with me y'all like i got some i put extra in in one of these small bottles but i'm gonna put a picture of my setting spray right here ten dollars ten dollars y'all ten dollars um and my spray my setting spray to me honestly is better than both of them because i like a setting spray that's gonna not dry too matte like i don't want it to dry back down and look powdery how it already be is so i make my own setting spray and that setting spray is really good it definitely don't leave you looking powdery because i don't like setting sprays that dry down matte i don't um and i don't like setting sprays that dry that say they don't dry down matte and they still do like so if y'all want to purchase one of my setting sprays y'all can just dm me on my instagram if you haven't followed me make sure y'all go do that right now asap um, but yeah, so that, that was my dupes, my five top favorite dupes of my favorite makeups, makeup brands and popular brands that people just think that they got to use 
you know the high end to uh, get a cute makeup look you don't you don't um yeah so this this was a recommended video i hope y'all enjoyed this video and like i said don't forget to follow me on instagram subscribe to my channel and like this video and um yeah i'm gonna see y'all in my next video